Hey guys, Aaron from the Boss 140 here with the Magic the Gathering deck profile on uh, cats. Yeah. Oh, par cats. Oh, oh it, life game. Yeah. Mono yeah. white. Yeah. Rush. Yeah. I've got soul on there. How many? Four. Two. Always. Show, show all four. Yeah. You're new to you know this, aren't you? Yes. Right. Show them like. Oh god, I'm bad, aren't I? Show like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you've got four soul ones there. Cool. Next. Just like uh, souls attendant, running four of those. These provide the main life gain for the deck, as you can see. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you gain one life. So yeah, souls attendant, and soul warden. And we got serve ascendant, possibly one of my bond cards. One mana, one one, but when you get above 30 life, it gains plus five, plus five, and flying. And it's got life link as well, so that's an added bonus. And we got Pride Guardian. Again, one mana, four of those. Zero three, Defender though, but whenever it blocks, you gain three life, which is pretty good for one mana. Unless they have like protection from white or something. Haha! <laughs> Right, we've got a Cathedral Sanctify here. Only two of those, because uh, spacing the deck's a bit tight, and I'm really bad at spacing out my decks. Uh, one mana, so whenever it ends the battlefield, you gain three life, which is a pretty good. What is this, like a 66 card deck? I think it's over 60. Okay. Oh, well, they don't mind. We will see. Yeah, okay, carry on. <laughs> we've got a Knight of the Meadow going here. Four of those. Two mana for a 2-2 two -two with lifelink on first strike. Yes, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> And then we got another two mana here with life gained. Life link, two mana two two, Johnny Sun Striker. Pretty cat good. Cat. cat card. This was part of my original cat deck, but um mm -hmm. it needed major changes. And here we are. Johnny's Pride Mate, one of my um muscle cards in the deck. Whenever you gain life you put a one one counter on him. As you can see there, if I gain six life, you don't get six one one counters, you only get one. But still, the amount if, of times... If you have, like, Souls Attendant and Soul Warden, you'd gain two life, but yeah. separate times, so you'd get I'd gain two, two life, yeah. So, yeah. that's that's brilliant for one mana, two mana. Yeah. So, we've got Spirit Mantle, which I'll always equip to a Johnny's Plymate, usually, because um, it means that he can deal so much damage to the opponent. Two mana for unblockable and plus one. Plus it's, one. Yeah, it's protection from creatures. Which is pretty good. Yeah. Da, da. Divine Favour here. So that's like the only card that really has an effect on it, where I gain life if I put him out, apart from Cathedral Sanctifier. But um, he just provides a bit of toughness to cards, like if I had a um, a spare Sun Striker or mm. a Knight of the Meadow game bombing around, they'd be a bit vulnerable. So. You can even put it on um, the, the Pride Guardian. Yeah, Pride Guardian as well, just makes it a bit bigger. And then we've got Rock's Faithmender here that makes the life gain so much better. Um, yeah, as you can see, 4 mana, 1, 5 with lifelink, and doubles the amount of life you gain if you would gain life, which is absolutely invaluable if you're running a bit low, which is amazing. And then we've got a bomb card here, Fellow Last Sovereign. 2 mana, 6 mana. 6 mana, not 2 mana. <laughs> Only running 2 of them, because obviously they're a bit expensive, and it takes up a lot of space, so vigilance and lifelink, and obviously if you have more than 40 life, you win the game, which is absolutely amazing. Mm. And then, and then we have just 21 mana here, all planes, different artwork, but what can you do? What can you do? So, <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been It's Magic and Divorce 140 here, so bye.